And now in the studio, we've got Casino Empire. Yeah! Welcome, chaps. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Have you, um, I've heard quite a bit about you recently, actually. You seem to be making, uh, making waves. Really? Yeah. Cool. That's, that's, that's quite cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I work for um, Arts in Leicestershire as well with Trevor Locke, and he does a lot of writing. I've oh, seen you guys as well. He recommended you. Trevor, the guy who the one who owns the shed. Yeah, yes. a gig on yeah. Sunday. Yeah, with a hat. He's a legend. Yeah, yes. he, he is, is pretty cool. a legend. So how long have you guys been around? Since about February. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I joined afterwards. Um, he, he's yeah. on about July time, yeah. Crikey. Tom, the first, magician, Tom. that's what we're calling. And first, you kind of... First gig with Tom was uh, end of June. Right. Uh, but Ollie and I have been together for about 18 months now. But we're yeah, in an old band. Uh, we've only been in this band since about February time. Mm, okay, what kind of music do you play? What genre would you yeah. say, just for the listeners? I'd probably say well, like alternative rock. Right. It's how we've been describing. We're trying to be a, like arts and monkeys sort of stuff. Okay. okay. Trying to bring the rock and roll back to music. Yeah. So more lightweight, not sort of heavy rock. More. Oh no, no, none of that. It's yeah. like indie. Yeah, yeah. Result. But yeah. then that's anything, isn't it, really? I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I think you have to come see us, like, kind of... Absolutely. I mean, I haven't seen you yet, so, yeah, I'll look forward to that. Come down. Next gig's 27th of... Se- uh, 27th of December at the Shed. Oh, OK. Yeah, we're going to get on to that. OK, yeah, that'll be good. Um, 27th of December? Yeah. Right. Are, you looking f- are you looking forward to uh, be supporting Eden Avenue on the 1st of February? Yeah, that's going to be brilliant. Yeah, we're good mates with Eden Avenue. I've known Connell in it for years. Um, we love playing with them. It's just going to be a great night. Yeah. I mean, we did it soon, mate, didn't we? That was, it was mental. It was moshing, people breaking legs. Yeah, my mate <laughs> broke his knee. Yeah, we my mate broke his knee in our know, wash pit at sea, mate. Really? Yeah, it's a good gig. <laughs> and the O2, it's a good venue. Yeah. It's really good. It's the Scholar Bar, isn't it? Yeah, we're playing at the Scholar Bar. We'll, we'll, be, be, uh, we'll be in the Queen's Hall, I think, the second room. In March, we're supporting formal warning. Oh, right. 29th, yeah, that they, is. Yeah, because they're coming back. Actually, my, I did, did, did I tell you? No, I don't think I did tell you. Formal no. warning are coming back. We had them We had them on here and about a month ago when they split them up, just oh. over a month ago. Um, so, so they're, yeah, they're coming back. Yeah, didn't it should be a good show. Yes, they did. <laughs> and then a month <laughs> later, they book another one. <laughs> Final game. That's good, that's good we're advertising, that is. We're very happy about that, though. That's fine. What about them coming back or yeah, splitting up? Yeah. And having us supporting them as well. Well, yeah, that'd be, that's, that's big. a big venue as well, isn't it? It'll be our biggest gig, yeah. 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 I think with more people as well, it's you've got the energy there, haven't you? you know? Yeah. Especially me jumping around like a monkey. Yeah, you need a massive stage. <laughs> <laughs> no stage it's all big enough for you. You need to own stage. I'll have my own stage and you just play on, you know, you just be like the band. <laughs> the Where cage. did the name uh, Casino um, Empire come from? Oh, uh, uh, I was in uh, London in Leicester Square and um, there was this big song which said the Casino with the Empire. I never heard of it before and I just thought it sounded alright, had a ring to it. A couple of people disagree with me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds all right. Um, you're not into gambling then or anything? No, it's none of that. That's yeah, I'm a big gambler, I am. What made you become interested in the music industry? Well, I mean, we've had a lot... Well, I think all of us have just always been into music and stuff, but my, for me, my, my family, they've just... Like my stepdad had just been like so into Oasis and just got me into it. Really, he's got like the Beatles and everything. All of our families have been well into music since since they can first from since they can remember. So we just got it from them. Really, no, I, grew, I grew up in a house where there's always music on, and it's just been driven into me. Yeah, for me, probably, my dad used to listen to like a lot of music. That's like, sort of stuff that we're influenced by. I used to listen to like the Who, the Jam, that sort of stuff. So does that come across then in your music? Because um, you haven't got anything recorded, have you? So I haven't. No, we're all we're, yeah, we're really working. I guess we're stuff recorded. Slowly getting mm. stuff done. Yeah, I think like some of the some of it comes across in the music. Like you, you know, you're influenced by people, and it, you kind of have some of their mannerisms. But you know. yeah, we do love like Oasis and Arctic Monkeys, and that's who we from the Riviera have been described as. Yeah. Like them to cross together. Mm, I'd okay. say more Abba. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Now you're talking. We are, yeah. I don't, I don't know who you are. Do you mean pet shop boys for me? <laughs> so, so later then, you're going to do a couple of acoustic set, uh, tracks for yeah, us. Um, are, are they like, um, are they just stripped down versions of your rock bird ones or are they special yeah. acoustic songs? Uh, yeah, Shine, Shine On is like live. It's quite 
chilled out and it's got like this guitar solo which is you know it's, it's going to be more chilled out acoustic but uh, the second one Iguana uh, sort of like two two completely different songs the acoustic version and like the actual live version we play that's sort of our signature shot song and it sends everyone mental and that's how that guy broke his knee watch his sewers in the Iguana Iguana <laughs> it's kind of kind of has to happen at the gig you got to see it live to yeah. you know feel it but <laughs> For songs like Iguana, then, what sort of things do you write about? Iguana. Iguana. <laughs> well, we just sort of like, we just wrote something like, what should we call this? And I just said Iguana. I, just, I don't even know what I said. We're well, just messing around. I just said the word. Everyone's like, through. yes, let's call it that. It suits the song because it's quite a lively and jumpy song, so it's. Oh, Iguana's oh. lively and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what is in the cupboard? Yeah, he's a good analysis. <laughs> it's a reptile, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> but yeah, a bit sleepy, I think. Yeah, that's the oh, right, so isn't like that. Right. <laughs> so there's not particularly a deep sort of meaning to it, though. Not that one. Shannon's got more of a meaning. Right. Yeah. That's that's about well. <laughs> we'll save it till later. Yeah, we'll save it till later. Yeah, you can you can judge it yourselves. Yeah, for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, when you introduce the song, that'd be nice. Yeah. For more information on this artist, visit takeoverradio.com forward slash Made in Leicester. Check this out. This is Leicester's Takeover Radio. Leicester's biggest radio station. More music next. Casino Empire and this is Shine On. Shine on It's an image 
Thank you. For more information on this artist, visit takeoverradio.com forward slash made in Leicester. This one's for Luke, it's called Iguana. One, two, three. First I see it coming. Then I see it get up and go again. Maybe if you made a cup of tea, I sit down and tell you my story again. Love. Whoa. Now I could be addressing you, sting it like you're sticking to my shoe. Now I could be addressing you, make it rock and roll, I sing like you. Brilliant. When you said um, "shine on" had a meaning, what do you mean by that? Like, what was the meaning behind it? Um, well, originally, I wrote the words about uh, my nan and granddad that passed away. Not like, yeah, not long before that, really. And uh, you know, I was just thinking of, you know, songs. We needed songs to write, and I just, you know, write them words, and it, you know, it meant to me that's what it means. But to other people, it could mean something else. You know, to shine on whatever. Write a song from that inspiration. You got to have something. Yeah, you can't write a song about, you know, it's nothing okay. really. <laughs> oh, fish and chips. Chips. Unless you like fish and chips a lot, you know, you feel <laughs> passionate about them. And like you say, a lot of times with songs, people uh, hear a song and then they read into it, um, they apply their own life experience yeah. into it and then it becomes, they, yeah. they think it is something different because they've interpreted it differently. So I guess that's the case so with that song. Different songs mean different people. Yes, different absolutely, yeah. That was brilliant, that was really, really yeah, good. Really Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's the time of the interview where we have the Quiz of Doom. Dun, dun, dun. Quiz of Doom. <laughs> Swearing on the off message. <laughs> Quiz of Doom. Yeah, this, this is part of the interview where you've got to try ask as many questions to either me or Kevin in 30 seconds. About anything. About anything. Who's going to be? Right. So either of you or both of you or whatever. Either uh, of us. Either of us, so you have to pick. Just to let you know, Maya's Ma- Ma- a lot better than me. That is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, we'll go first, we'll go like that. Right, Keep going back around, that'd be interesting. Keep it simple, though, lads. Yeah. Yeah, who are you going to pick? It. What, to ask the questions, then? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. You, oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> um, just so you know, if I say maybe, or if you like say, for example, one and one, I say something wrong, that still counts. Okay, your 30 seconds start from now. Where'd you get your earrings from? Uh, I think Primark. Who's your favourite band? You. Do you like fish and chips? Yeah. What's your favourite day of the week? Tuesday. <laughs> What's your favourite cheese? Uh, I don't know, uh, Red Leicester. Do you like the peace sign? Yeah, I love it. Do you like Tommy's hair? Uh, not really. Hey! 
Do you like mods? Uh, no. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Do you like Kasabian? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Why? Because they're all four. <laughs> uh, right, that's the end of round one. What do I get to say? Um, oh, no, no, oh. actually, it's, it's, it's the end what of the whole... What do you whole... know, like, just say... <laughs> what? It's, it's, the, it's the end of the whole, <laughs> the whole thing. It's too loud, Please. I don't like it. Anyway, too how loud? Do get, yeah, how, how, what do they get? Oh, look, quite a good score. Talk most of sales while I add it up. One, two, three. Yeah. Add three, because they... Don't like it. Add three? They ask, yeah, add three, three because they asked me... Tom means going to kick off his listeners. That's a know. very good score, then. What actually, what is. Then? Yeah. You got a total of 15, including the uh, extra bonus points that Myers decided to give you just because she likes you. Uh, the record you know was 23, yet, but to become second, you had to be 18, so... So was that third? third? Yeah, that was third. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're happy with that. Yeah. Out of quite a lot. Yeah. It's <laughs> probably about 50, 50 people. I used to come in last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you did come last, you would have been mentioned every single weekend because... Uh, Jeff Infinite and Je- John Fryer got three. 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 Only yeah. three. Seconds. Yeah. And they ask a question every ten seconds. There was more of us. Different questions. Okay. I think it's every time a band come on, they always ask who did worse. As if you guys haven't done yet, no, but but we were anticipating that question. So um, so we're telling you. So therefore, their names get mentioned every single week. So because they came last. Mate, great having you in. Make sure you do keep in contact with Kevin, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. If you love music, you love music. You love music. You love t-